What's up, Devastator Squad? In today's video, we're going to be opening up an entire sealed case of the 2024 Dueling Mirrors Megatons. This set is jam-packed with tons of insane reprints and quarter-century secret rare cards. So let's strap in and see what crazy stuff we can pull today. All right, Devastators, here we go. It is time for our case opening of these beautiful new 2024 Megatons. Man, the design on these are absolutely insane. I gotta say, this is one of the coolest tins I've ever seen. It's got just really cool cards from every single generation of Yu-Gi-Oh! printed on the side. And all of these come quarter century secret rare as little as kind of bonuses in our product here. So a lot of great stuff, man. I love the look of just Yu-Gi-Oh! and Kaiba on the front. This is just so cool. So super duper cool. These are just really awesome looking tins in general. Just, oh man, these are so sick. Now, before we crack into our packs, I'm gonna let you guys know, I'll be giving away one 2024 Mega 10 to one of our lucky subscribers. All you have to do to enter that giveaway is just make sure you like this video. Number two, be subscribed to our channel with your notifications on. And number three, leave a comment down in the comment section below holy moly so we got 12 tins in total to open up today 36 booster packs coming in so there should be one ultra rare per pack one secret rare per pack and one quarter century secret rare per pack this is a massive set by the way if you have not seen yet it is 400 cards i think it's like 100 secrets 150 ultras 100 commons and then 50 quarter century secret rare so it's huge so it's gonna be really hard to find stuff that you want as single things and uh, I, just, I just hope we can get some cool stuff today. Obviously, main cards I'm after is like Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Dog Vision Girl, the tokens, and obviously SP Little Knight would be really, really cool. But, uh, yep. So, holy smokes. Let's get started here. These Mega Packs actually look kind of kind of basic. <laughs> Not going to lie. They look kind of basic. Okay, I see that QCR back. I don't know if it's like all the way in the back or if it's in the middle, but... Singer over top, sour schedule. We're gonna go a little slow on the first like two or three tens, and then we're just gonna kind of get in on the action and just go really, really fast. We got Duelist Genesis for our first ultra rare there. And our first secret rare is Ooh, Duamatov, Blessing of the Horus. Okay. Not too shabby there. And our first QCR is Toon Kingdom coming in for our tunes, Yugi Boy. Very cool. And I think those are all the foil. Oh, we get two ultra rares in a pack. Alright, so Centurion Bonds is our second ultra rare there. Oh, nope. There's more ultra rares. There's Gen, the Diamond Tiger. Okay, so there's three ultra rares per pack. Fallen of the Argos and uh, some common cards back there. Okay, so I, I thought it was like one ultra rare per pack. This is great. They actually give you more foils than that. All right, so booster pack number two. So, yeah, this set encompasses a lot of products, man. It's like eight boxes worth of stuff and then like a ninth... I would say mini set of just like extra cards added in alt arts and so on and then you have like the quarter century so it's basically like 10 mini sets in one it's a ma it's massive we got draco utopian aura that looks really really cool Ooh, heavy polymerization coming in this is one of the uh, tg exclusive cards that comes in this product hopefully we can see all three of them today yo let's go silent boots as our next qcr that looks really really cool i really want to pull a gazelle today hopefully all right we've got the geo kraken for the ultra rare i think this was from maze of millennia and then we got rescue ace impulse as an ultra not too shabby and then we've got uh some commons in the back i don't know if any of the commons are going to be really insane or anything like that but uh these qcrs look really cool all right third pack of tin number one and we got plenty of tins to open up today cash tira Akstra, the double-headed Dino King, the Ice Prison, the Greed Jar. All right, we got Contain. So we got another uh, uh, beautiful Rescue Ace card, Ultra Ray there. Ooh, Vanquish Old Raisin for our next Secret Rare. That's a pretty good card there. Yo, we got our piece of Exodia, baby. Obliterate, right leg of the Forbidden One. I hope we can pull the entire set of Exodia today in this uh, case. That'd be super sweet. Then we got Manadium Meek and uh, one of the, uh, which one is this one? Geo Gremlinia or whatever. Not too shabby. Oh, I definitely got a sleeve up at Exodia piece. That looks so cool as a QCR. Yeah, I really, really hope we can get pull all five of these pieces. That'd be really, really cool. All right, Devastator Squad. Here we go. Tin number two, Numazvai is on deck. Plenty more of these to go today. I yeah, definitely make sure to enter that giveaway if you haven't already. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if your notifications on. And let me know in the comment section below what you think of this product as we get three more packs on the table here. All right, yeah, but my biggest uh, my biggest gripe with this, I'm sure with a lot of people's gripe with this, is just the fact that it's just way too big. There's too many cards. Got a Shooter King as an Ultra, Snake Eyes Oak as a Secret Rare. It's really crazy that all the Snake Eyes cards come secret in here. Oh, dude, look at that Torrential Tribute coming in as a QCR. Dude, that looks so tight. Okay. 
Got another one of the Geo Kragens, and we've got a uh, some Infernal Knight card. I don't know anything about Infernal Knight, so sorry if I glaze over those. Okay, we gotta look at this. This looks sweet. Holy smokes, that looks awesome. They should have put Heavy Storm in here too, man. That would have been cool. I got like scapegoats and torrentials, some like really cool retro time wizard, uh, you know, upgrades in here. Land flipping realm. The shoddy red fire recovery. I don't know why this got upgraded. No one was even playing this card. Oh, dude, blue eyes, white dragon, quarter century rare, baby. Dude, this card is like 25 plus dollars on pre sales. Some places I've seen people buying them for $30 already on pre order. Dude, that card looks insane. All right, we got it. That was like the main hit I wanted from this product. Holy smokes, and the Vanadium Meek, and then the Horn Saurus. And then that's all she wrote there. Dude, that is clean. Blue eyes. Flipping white dragon. <laughs> this legendary dragon is a powerful engine of destruction. Virtually invincible. Very few have faced this awesome creature and lived to tell the tale. Very beautiful card. And it looks very, very good quality too. Holy smokes. I'm so glad that they gave us started at Kaiba art for that QCR in here. Whew, man, I was hoping they would give us some other blue eyes art, but that, that's like the one that we were like, that's the most iconic blue eyes art there is, man. That's, I'm glad that they chose that one. All right, got Pearly Happy Memory. Dark old dragon, dude. The worst. Get out of here. But we got a scapegoat, dude. Let's go. QCR scapegoat. Joey Wheeler activating my scapegoats. Let's go, man, dude. Okay, Baron Utopia. Yo, Ultra Shadow Ghoul. Okay, that's actually pretty dope. For those that don't know, Shadow Ghoul is like one of my favorite monsters ever printed in the game. Um, I'll see this one up because this will just go into my collection. I love Shadow Ghoul, dude. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. All right, Tinna Numa Dry up on deck. Number three. Dude, these tins are so cool, though. I really, really like the design of these. I'm like, I'm excited to open these. I know a lot of people are not happy with this product, and I'd say, like, I don't blame you. I'm not happy overall with the uh, the set size. I think it's obnoxious. I think it's way, it kind of defeats the purpose of reprinting cards if you can't even get the cards you want um by just like opening up some stuff we got chaos witch oh bonfire coming in secret rare that is a solid card man i remember pulling so many bonfires in maze of millennia this is crazy cool that is a very nice secret rare oh dude and a qcr paper toss okay buddy that is so cool looking we got pearly plump and then the red arrows and some commons in the back there okay we gotta we gotta see what that pinker top these qcrs are great i want to collect all of these we've got uh we've got another case that we'll be opening up on the channel very very soon and then we also have a live stream coming up we'll be opening uh three more cases of this for people in my patreon that uh, pre-ordered if you're my patreon you do get access to like pre-orders of products or special stuff and you get really really good prices forge a new future the Fighting Flame Swordsman. <laughs> this card's so cool looking, dude. Yo, Utopia Double. That's probably one of the QCRs I'm like not going to care about, to be honest. Geo crack it, and then that thing. Yep. All right. Yeah, super excited for that live stream. We're opening up three cases for our patrons, man. For those of you who want to support the channel further, you can join the Patreon. Link in the description below. Super duper dope. You can uh, support the channel for as low as just two bucks a month. Manadium Imaginings. A galaxy Photon Dragon. Gee, that honest, that looks so premium, bro. I love that. Bro, man, I like this. Okay, that's that's dope. Uh, happiness, and then whatever that kitty cat is. Okay. All right, next 10 up on the block. And so far, all these tins have been really, really good in terms of the quarter centuries. The secrets have been okay. Really hoping to find a thrust today and also an SP Little Knight. That'd be really, really cool. Those Chaos Angel, Typhon, Dragion, they're all really, really good. A lot of really, really good stuff here. So I want to give a big shout out to... Uh, to our beautiful, beautiful Rescue Squad. Thank you guys so much for all your support on the channel. For those that want to support the channel further, you can also do so by joining the Rescue Squad. Click that Join button below to get access to a lot of awesome benefits, perks uh, like emotes, badges, discounted products, and so on as well. Snake Eyes Flambridge Dragon coming in. <laughs> it's exactly the same as he did before. Ooh, nice. And the Axel Stardust Synchro. This is a sweet reprint. Wow, dude, that looks awesome as a QCR. We got the good old Hoppy. In the Transcendence Meteorus for our dinosaur friends. Okay, not too shabby. These QCRs just look amazing, man. But also, always, I got to give a big shout out to the Patreon members as well. I really appreciate you guys and all your support. Uh, you guys are the best. Well, thank you so much to all of our patrons and to all of our channel members and to everybody out there in the Devastator Squad that is supporting this channel. You guys are the best. Firewall Phantom. 
That's a secret rare I did not want to have to see. Ooh, baby, but he gave us, like, one of the best cards after Blue Eyes. Dark Magician Girl coming in. Quarter Century Secret Rare. Where their old school art from Magician's Force. Dude, this card looks crazy. Oh, man. We got Sweet Roommate, Casamolar, and don't care about those ones. But, dude, let's go. Devastator Squad. Dark Magician Girl has made her appearance. There's two versions of her to collect in this set. There's the QCR with her Magician's Force artwork. And then there's a Prismatic Secret Rare with uh, a new exclusive artwork from the latest Anime Chronicle pack. So hopefully we can see that one today as well in this case. How did I get here? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Tally-ho, Springins. Ooh, this is a cool upgrade. Unchanged Soul of Shama. Ooh, okay. This is one of the other new cards that made its debut in this tin. The Mind Castellan. Now we're just missing Theta. Dude, all right. We got Utopic Draco Future for our next QCR. Super cool there. Gem Knight, Lady Rose Diamond, and the Gold Pride, Nitro Head. All right. Let's just keep them coming. It's going to be a not super long video today. I don't want to go super crazy slow on this but i do want i want to take a little bit of time you know just because these are literally brand new they just came out just got these and uh i just i can't say i can't say how excited i am man i'm just so excited to be opening these up today the night turpin infernal flame banshee that looks really good as a secret actually holy crap that looks really really cool Ooh, let's go green gadgets coming in all the gadgets have a qcr upgrade of this set which is really, really cool. It's my iconic Yugi Monsters. Light of the Branded. And the Super Heavy Samurai Security. I right, definitely want to sleeve up that gadget. All right, here we go. Can we get some good Secret Rares? So far, the Secret Rares have been kind of uh, the, the weakest point of each pack. Some of the Secrets we have have been pretty good. But some of them have been pretty bad. Transaction Rollback. We'll take that as a very good Secret Rare card. Let's go. Do you go with our Bonfire there? Ooh, and a Cosmic Blazar Dragon as well. Thankfully, so far, no double ups on these QCRs or secret rares, which uh, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, you know, because I remember batching, like clumping is always a problem in the make it sense. You know, where we last year, we had literally two Lubellions in one tin, like one tin yielded two Lubellions. I was insane. All right. With the Angelic Ring. Don't even know what this card is. Um, okay. Ooh, let's go! Yellow gadget as well. We just need the red gadget. We have the complete set. We got the delicious memory, material elements, Perlesia. All right, keep them coming, keep them coming. Are these worth it though, man? To go out and buy in mass? I don't know. I mean, if you get a good deal on these, you can. Um, they're probably worth it because there are just a lot of really good cards in here in general. Like you should be getting just some good stuff like all around. Uh, I think the QCRs are probably going to be the best things that age with this product for sure. Loris, Lady of Lament. No, the Duamatops. We're already doubling up on cards. That's not a good sign. Ooh, but we still hitting singular, just unique cards in the QCR slot. The XYZ Dragon Cannon. All right, really hoping for a Triple Tactics Thrust and an SP Little Knight. Those are the most expensive cards in this tin. SPs pre-selling for like $60, dude. And the thrusts are like $35. Alpha Summon, another heavy palm resolution. This is crazy that we're getting double ups on a pool of 100 cards. But we got another Limit Exodia, baby. Right armor, the Forbidden One. Coming in, we're almost ready to obliterate in style. Melfi Hide and Seek and the Rescue Ace Preventer. Okay, so we've gotten a lot a lot of double ups on the Ultra Rares as already. And we're getting double ups on the Secrets, which is not a good sign, dude. That's not a good sign. Not a good sign. All right. With a hundred different Secrets to pull from, that's not a good sign. Master Tao the Chanter. Yeah, literally all of these were doubled up. Oh my god. Let's go, though, dude. Two Exodia parts in one tin. We'll take that, baby. Left leg of the Forbidden One. Okay, we need literally one more limb, Devastator Squad, and then we can obliterate in style. All right, next tin coming up. Man, we just need that left arm of the Forbidden One, and then we are ready to rock and roll because we got the head last year in the 2023 Mega Tins. So this is cool, man. Oh, baby, I'm so stoked. We're almost there to Exodia. We're almost there. I can't wait to obliterate in QCR. Those are going to my Millennium deck, man. I can't wait to play QCR versions of those cars. We got Huli, the Jewel Mikanko. Raigeki with its alternate artwork. That looks so sick. I really hope we can pull at least one copy of each one of these new artwork cards for Raigeki, tuning and so on. It really sucks that... Okay, no, that was just dust from the card. I was say, it was we broke crap on the sleeve or on the card. Ooh, nice. So, Cameratech, Fortress Dragon coming in. QCR. That looks super dope. Okay, I like that. Melfi Hide and Seek. Okay, 
So we're getting a lot of double up cards, dude. On, like I said, like, <laughs> there's a hundred freaking ult uh, secrets and 150 ultras, and we're getting double ups. That is really not good. That is not good to see. I don't like that. Because that could be a good thing in terms of like, oh, you can double up on like SPs or something in your case. But then it's just like, you could double up on stuff like Dark Hole Dragon, <laughs> Neo Tempest, Terra Hertz for our secret rare there. And we're doubled up on our first QCR, the Excel Stardust is our first double up there for the QCRs. Sharvara is a good ultra rare and the fairy, uh, the Pert Pit Knight Lily. All right, last pack of this tin here. We've got plenty of more tins left to open up here. Extinguish. Wow, okay. <laughs> Just And another, <laughs> I got a duplicate again. Okay. Uh... Mm, I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know about that one, Chief. All right, Devastator Squad, we've got five more tins left on the table here to crack open today, and then we are done with this case opening of the Dueling Mirrors Mega Tins. And so far, uh, I'm, I'm kind of like on the fence. There's a lot of cool cards in here, but boy, are there too many cards. And the fact that we're getting doubles up of cards in this is concerning. It's very concerning. Angelic Ring, Snake Eyes Birch is a secret rare. Yellow gadget again, <laughs> right? Yeah, we pull. We need the red gadget for the other one. Per leap and Makanko ceremony. Yeah, it's red gadget that we need. So we're doubling up on QCRs as well. That's not good. That is not a good sign. I mean, it's gonna be so hard to collect all this stuff. The ultimate great insect, great moth take flight. <laughs> I could not resist. Ooh, that looks cool as a secret rare, though. The original Sinful. That looks not half bad as a secret. Ooh, let's go! Red Dragon Archfiend, baby! I really wanted to get this one. And I also really want to get the uh, Blackwing Dragon, so I have all the five of these dragons as QCRs, dude. Let's go. Come on, can we see an SP Little Knight? Triple Tactics Thrust. Still need that other limb of Exodia. We've got the Mary Malfies and Kastira Theosis. It's an okay secret. And, ooh, that's a good one. The Gates of the Spirit, or uh, Opening of the Spirit Gate QCR. That's a really cool one. Oh my gosh, that looks super sick. What is this? Numa 8, Numa 9. I've kind of lost count. There's just only a couple left on the table. But, uh, yeah, so far, very, very interesting. Not entirely sure how I feel so far. I'm very mixed feelings. Like, there's so many cool cards that just get me excited. But at the same time, it's also like, why are there double ups? Mirror Sword Knight. Okay. <laughs> we'll take that as a double up. Bonfire, baby. Okay. I'll take that as a two copies of. Can we get a third one of these in this case? That'd be insane. Okay, we're not an XYZ Dragon Cannon. That's not good. Uh, Fire Attacker and the Gold Pride Nitro Head. All right, yeah, the Bonfire Double Up is cool. Yeah, like I said, like this is gonna be this is gonna be the experience. This this is Mega Tins, man. Oh, 400 cards set, 100 secret rares. We'll just let you pull the same ones over and over, and you're not gonna see any of the other ones, right? <laughs> like, dude, they're all doubled up. What is this, man? Did we obliterate? Was that the last limb we needed? I gotta check. Nope, it's left arm that we need. Dang it, man. We still need the left arm. So many duplicates, dude. So many duplicates. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, it's one thing if the set is smaller and you get duplicates of stuff, but like... <laughs> Great Moth! <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> dude! Another leg, bro. Come on, dude. We need the left arm to obliterate now. We're just gonna pull two sets of Exodia at this rate, man. I think we're just gonna get two whole sets. Yeah, we literally just need a left arm. And we have a set of Exodia done in QCR. And if we get two left arms, we have two sets of Exodia in QCR. What is this happening, dude? What are we witnessing here today? This is why I wanted to start with a case of this stuff, man. Just to set show you guys, like... I don't know, like this, the but just the weirdness of this type of product. Okay, Black Legend Soldier, Legendary Swordsman. It was a that's a good reprint because this card was like a twenty dollar ultra for some reason. Okay, another Torrential. That's really sick, actually. QCR coming in, and uh, yep, those cards. But yeah, there's still there are still so many cards we have not seen, dude. We're almost done with this case. We barely scratched the surface on these secret rares, let alone the uh, the QCRs as well. Okay, we did find the Red Eyes Black Dragon alternate artwork, baby. Let's go. I want to get this really bad. I want the Dark Magician Girl, and I also really, really want the Harvey's Feather Duster. Ooh, no one wants Trickstar Light Stage as a QCR. I'm going to tell you that much. <laughs> maybe... Maybe you are maybe you're watching your Trickstar fan. That deck was really really cool back in 2019. That was actually a really really cool deck. Uh, no shade whatsoever. I'm just saying. Holy moly. 
Ringo Worm. Are you kidding me? Why is this a secret rare? Yeah! Speedroid Teratop, though, dude. Let's go for the Salamangrates. We're just, I guess, the Speedroids coming up, but not too shabby. The Rollerballer. Couple of aces. All right. All right. We got only two tins left of this case. Still no SP Little Knight or Triple Tactics Thrust. But we did hit two bonfires, which is really, really insane. You know what make this case still just perfect, though? So we can complete the Exodia set, pull a Dark Magician Girl, get a third bonfire, and pull one SP. I'd be happy. Would be absolutely happy. You know what I mean? Like happy of the horror, the horrors card. All right, here we go. Speaking of horrors, we haven't even seen any of the horror stuff, do you? Other than Duamatov for the secrets. Bistil Dispod. Okay, that's a great secret. Right? That's a good one. That is a good one to hit. Ooh, Rank of Magic Astral Force. We did need that one for the set. Very iconic card from the anime for Zexel fans. <laughs> TGs, dude. Rest in peace. All right. Yeah, I was really hoping that this would this track where they would just kind of have like almost all not every card being unique in terms of the secrets and the uh, quarter centuries but uh, man i don't know why this card is a, is a secret rare i really don't understand why okay there's tyrant red dragon arch fans qcr that looks pretty cool i still think the other versions of this card are better but uh it is a good one and we needed it for the set come on we're almost to the end here can we end this tin on a huge hit i think we end this video with a crazy crazy last stacked tin all right, we've got Rescue Ace Air Lifter. <sighs> Tuning Alt Art. Let's go. Okay, we just need Harpy's Feather Duster and Limited Removal. We got all these Alt Arts. <sighs> Galaxy Cypher. That is a really cool looking card as a QCR. Oh my gosh. I love this card. I used to play this card all the time in Blue Eyes back in the day, dude. All right, let's go ahead and sleeve those up and get on to the final tin. All right, the last tin of this case. But then we've got plenty more tins open up on the channel coming up. So can we end it on a huge, some huge hits here? Dark Magician Girl, SP Little Knight, Triple Tactics, Thrust. All of these would be really, really awesome pulls to end on in today's case opening. Thank you guys so much though for being part of this opening. Definitely make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh content. That is a good card there though. Cast your Rise Hearts. Coming in strong. Can we finish off our Exodia? Didn't even get a red gadget yet, dude. Come on. What the heck, dude? All right. Come on. Come on. We need a red gadget and we need the left arm of Exodia. Come on. Click an echo. Sign of circuit. The manacore smashing. Invasive alien species? What set was that guy from? Ooh, Lulu Wild Lilith. All right. All right. See some more unique cards. I don't know why this card is a QCR. I don't even know why this card is even to the 10, but okay. We needed it though for the master set and that thing okay last pack of the case come on man i don't know what to say this is a weird this is this is weird man these these products i sometimes man i wonder like what happens when they print this type of stuff it's crazy dude we got emergency we've got <sighs> keepers inscription okay so our secret rares were pretty not good over the course of this whole case and we doubled up on Cypher. So no Exodia either. Holy moly. All right, Devastator Squad. That's going to be it for our case opening today. Definitely make sure to like the video on your way out. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome video content. Don't forget to enter that giveaway by leaving a comment in the comment section below. And check out one of the awesome videos coming up for you in the recommended on our channel. I want to give a huge special shout out to all the members of our Patreon. Especially our Moon Tier Zephyros, our David Tier Galactic, all of our Dictators of Devastation, Wywing Guy, JT, Larry, Quinn, Savvy, That Guy, Captain Trips, Puppy Pack, and all the Kings of Devastation, Condor FJ, SS Spartan, Service, and most importantly my mom. I want to give a huge thank you to all members of the Rescue Squad, especially our Duelist tiers, our King of Games, Dogma and Captain Leif, and our one and only Exodia tier, Austin Witch, Obliterate. Thank you so much, Mom, for always being one of our Kings of Devastation. I love you so much. Devastated Squad, you guys are the best. Cannot wait to see you guys in the future videos and live streams to come, and until then, stay awesome.